Mind Body Life show hosted by Frederick Entman on Global Voice Radio on Fridays at 10 a.m. Eastern. During his show, Mind Body Life founder and best-selling author Frederick Entman investigates the little-known insights and daily methods used to create explosive life transformations and transitions with those that have risen from struggle and ascended to greatness. Here is your Mind Body Life host, Frederick Entman. Welcome to the Mind Body Life show. I'm your host, Frederick Entman. This is episode 23. I'm a former professional athlete, a best-selling author of Surviving Sports in the Game of Life. I'm a coach and consultant for athletes, namely professional athletes, and I help athletes create lasting success outside of sports and win the game of life. Again, I want to welcome you to episode 23. I'm going to talk about maximizing recovery and output. Basically, it's going to be the ABCs of vitamins and minerals, a topic that it blows my mind to this day. The average individual spend 12 years, 13 years of their life in school and yet come out with absolutely zero knowledge, like pure knowledge of how to live a vital life, of what food sources actually contain and how that's going to benefit you. Your health is your true wealth. You know, strong body, strong mind. And it baffles me when I see a retired professional athlete and they look like hell in a handbasket. You know, I actually know a lot of millionaires that just want more energy and vitality. But here's the good news. No, you can't buy happiness. We all know that. Um, and money certainly is not the be all, do all. And you can't buy joy. Um, but you know what? You can buy health. It's in, in the form of knowledge. It's in the form of accountability. And it's actually knowing exactly about your food sources, your environment, the very air you breathe, and how that's going to affect you. Yes, you can buy that. You can actually hire someone like me that it provides that accountability. It's very simple. It's just taking control of your life uh, through caring about yourself. And that's it. There's no shortcuts. It's like anything. Um, so vitamins and minerals, that alone seems to withdraw people from even wa wanting to learn because I know the ABCs of vitamins and minerals tends to be quite complex. And um, to be honest, you know, I've been at this for over 30 years learning about food sources. So if there's one thing I would recommend, it's just taking it week by week and learning actually, for example, what is actually in an orange? How is this going to benefit me? You know, like just start with your citrus group, your lemons and limes and oranges and grapefruit and pomegranate. I mean, those alone, if you start incorporating those first thing in the morning, you're going to get the majority of your vitamins and minerals that are essential to reduce inflammation, to increase recovery, to feel fantastic. And in the end, increase alkalinity within your body, which is a huge buzzword these days. But, you know, it's been around for over 100 years. And this is just coming to surface. And it's all the proof of how misinformed um, we actually are about health and wellness because you know what the food that the average American or average person thinks they're eating is actually not a food source it's a pharmaceutical source and I can leave that for a whole another series now that would actually take a lifetime um, that's it's all it's also something that great that always brings great resistance because the truth hurts. Um, we are basically overfed, but undernourished as a whole. You know, it, it is my passion and my mission in this lifetime to educate and awaken people so they can take their power and live the lifestyle they want. You know, we're 
again, we're overfed and undernourished, but it's, there's a very strong propagandic uh, biochemical big pharma movement has been taking place for over 50 years. You know, 93% of Americans don't get enough vitamin E, 56% of Americans don't get enough magnesium. And let me tell you, that's serious because magnesium is responsible for over 300 enzymatic processes in your body. That's major. And we wonder why there's such a rise in, in neurological disorders. Gee, it's, it, you know, it doesn't take a genius to make that correlation there. 44% of Americans don't get enough vitamin A. On average, or just eating too many high calorie, low nutrient foods, leaving us overfed, but undernourished. And when you look at that perspective, I think it's easier for an individual, once I can sit someone down and explain actually what's going on, as there's very smart, oil slick marketers out there that a handful of companies that run a monopoly within this country that pump out this food and they know that it's not really going to give you nutritious benefit or value, but they know that's going to leave you un feeling underfed. Therefore, you're going to eat more. And at the end of the day, it's all about money, folks. It's all about money. They could care less about you and they're going to, make you think and feel that french fries at fast food especially you know anywhere you go french fries and cookies and cake and soda and all that poisonous crap is good for you and that is the whole shit it's just a uh, disgusting shame uh, about all that in this country that i hope to turn around and it's going to to be turned around by individuals, you know, leaders like myself and many, many, many others that I know are on the same cause. Um, but really when it comes to your nutrition, you know, I can say supplementing vitamins and minerals are really essential these days. Um, you know, the government has developed the recommended dietary allowances, which is also known as RDAs. But unfortunately, RDAs only provide the minimal doses needed to protect from deficiency. Isn't that interesting? And even if you already take a multivitamin, for instance, the potencies of the, of the individual nutrients are usually so trivial that little offered in a way of actual health benefits. And I'm not actually here to push any supplement or vitamin. I'm not associated with any company, just to be clear. But yes, I do think it's absolutely necessary to supplement your diet to ensure you're giving your body what it needs. So, you know, how do you actually ensure that the vitamins and minerals you take are optimal and providing all the beneficial effects that these nutrients can offer? You have to do your research and you have to educate yourself. And if you're not willing to do that, again, you're going to have to hire an expert like myself um, or, you know, just take it slow, but slowly. And, you know, like I said, incorporate that lemon and lime and orange and grapefruit first thing in the morning. You can even start with a smoothie and then throw in some cruciferous um vegetables like kale and your in spinach but you got to get it in it's not going to happen otherwise so the majority of the research for example that i um follow and have been very absorbed with and actually associated with comes out of you know stanford and, and harvard and oxford and um it's really tends to prove that um those are extremely credible resources. Um, but scientists have concluded that you should look for quality ingredients and supplements that offer the higher potencies within their doses. And with that in mind, I just want to go over some of the top vitamins and minerals to add to your routine for that longer 
healthier, vital life that everybody wants. You know, first I'm going to start with the B vitamins. These tend to be the most confusing because there's um, more than one. You know, optimal levels of this collection of essential vitamins can support your organs. Yes, your organ function and provide healthy metabolism. It's going to promote your cognitive health, so your brain function, and support other essential metabolic processes as well. And your body uses B vitamins along with enzymes to release energy that's stored in your carbohydrates. It's stored in your fats and proteins as well. So a deficiency of any of the B vitamins can affect a function of an organ system, probably all your organ systems throughout your entire body because they're metabolic activities are dependent on each other and i know while there's many b vitamins it's recommended that your supplements include um, at minimum i'd say vitamin b1 which is your thiamine your vi your vitamin b3 which is your niacin you know vitamin b6 vitamin b12 and then you want to include your biotin and folate Vitamin B1 is also known as thiamine, and this helps convert carbohydrates into usable energy. And it also supports healthy nervous system function of both your RNA and DNA production. It's quite significant and quite important. Your vitamin B3, this is also known as niacin. Vitamin B3 is going to support your healthy metabolism of glucose in fat um, and in alcohol and helps you maintain your healthy cholesterol levels. And your vitamin B6 is going to help your body metabolize amino acids and lipids. It also plays a role in gluconeogenesis. So the formation of glucose from your non-carbohydrate sources. Very important. And Vitamin B12 supports your heart by helping you maintain healthy levels of your homocysteine or a, a toxic metabolic byproduct that, when elevated, increases the risk of cardiovascular events. And going into biotin, this is actually known as vitamin B7. It's involved in energy metabolism. It's also essential to maintaining the body, um, the body's balance between many unique chemical pathways and processes. And going into folate, also known as vitamin B9, folate helps maintain red blood cell production within a normal range and helps your body make and maintain healthy DNA. And you know what? That's it for the B vitamins. But I know that, you know, anytime you're speaking, you want to know about vitamins and minerals, it's hard to really get around biochemistry. Um, so unless you've had it, it's going to be a whole new series um, of learning. It's going to be new wording. But in the end, don't forget the more you know about how your body operates and how you can efficiently restore and keep your body in an optimal level the more the the better you're going to feel and look and um, overall vitality have going into vitamin c i think everyone's pretty much at least aware of vitamin c or you know ascorbic acid it's found in a lot of fruits and vegetables and as an antioxidant Vitamin C really it scavenges your free radicals in your body and protects your tissues from oxidative stress, which never before has been more important because of the, the quality of our air, the quality of our water, um, and the quality of our food. It's, it's really become destructive to live in this world. It's crazy. You know, vitamin C is also a vital cofactor in the formulation of collagen, which collagen, um, I know, is a very scientific term. It's just your connective tissue. 
You know, it supports your skin, it supports your bones and other tissues. But however, vitamin C is best known as an immune supporting nutrient. You should really boost your system with um, these days, I'd say three to 5,000 milligrams of vitamin C a day. Vitamin D, along with calcium, supports healthy bone density. You know, a, um, a population-based study found that low blood levels of vitamin D are associated with an increased risk for all-cause mortality. And vitamin D also plays a critical role in normal immune function. And unfortunately, there's evidence of widespread vitamin D insufficiency. And I think this may be because it's virtually impossible to obtain adequate vitamin D from food sources. And many of us are using sun protection or avoiding sun exposure altogether. Again, it was back to the propaganda that I was talking about. People, the truth is we're made up of 75, 76% water, so oxygen. And the other part is light, it's photons. This is common knowledge, yet we've somehow become very scared of the sun. That's crazy. That's, that's crazy talk. You need sun to live. And yes, while, you know, if you want to bake in the sun for hours and hours and hours and burn your skin and all that, that's a whole nother story. That's more commonsensical, logical. But what scares me most is somehow our entire society has been programmed to think the sun is bad for you, okay? That alone proves what's going on. Just take a step back. This is too abrasive for you and think. Just think. You know, this alone, avoiding sun exposure, this deficiency could lead to a host of common age-related problems. And that's why public health Authorities are actually causing for an increased intake of vitamin D all of a sudden. This is just nonsense. Going on to vitamin E, best known for its role as an antioxidant, vitamin E exists in eight forms, all of which have health benefits. You know, starting with selenium, selenium promotes heart and brain health while supporting your longevity. And it's also an important factor in the fight against one of the primary causes of premature aging. That's oxidative damage. And that's really because the body utilizes selenium to help produce something called glutathione. And an antioxidant enzyme um, is basically what glutathione is, whose activity decreases as we age. So, if you follow me here, selenium also supports a normal thyroid production in healthy individuals, and it plays a role in healthy cell division. But its ability to promote a healthy inflammatory response and extinguish free radicals has led scientists to explore its beneficial effects in combating oxidative damage, particularly for health, um, your heart in brain health. No, I'd say overall, that's really the chunk um, main sources. If I was to recommend um, you personally, any any athlete, any prof- any professional athlete, I always start with you know a a very valuable life resource is proper education and it's knowing what's going to affect you directly that's taking personal accountability the more you educate yourself the more you invest in actually knowing exactly what's going to affect you then you can get out of being a victim and and pointing fingers at everyone else because you are always in control of what goes in your mouth always 100%. It's no one else's fault. And the more you know about this, the more you're going to glow. 
The more you know about health, as health is wealth, the more you're going to glow, and that is true wealth. I'd say additional minerals to consider adding to your regimen um, is going to include your magnesium, your zinc, your iodine. Um, I'd say boron, manganese, and chromium. And so when you get into more minerals, you're talking about extracts from your fruits and vegetables, um, green tea and linions are all going to provide you with a multiple uh, multitude of your health benefits as well. But you don't have to rely on your diet to obtain these. Really, um, the minerals that I just said, um, these are more like advanced plant-based nutrients. Um, and so your optimal amounts of vitamins and minerals, you know, a, a really comprehensive multi nutrient formula, which there's a lot out of there can solve your ease of, of um, or anxiety. And I, I often get a little anxiety of, gee, am I getting enough in the day of what I need? So that's kind of why I recommend supplementation to just ensure um, you get all your vitamins and minerals. So it really, in the end, it's going to do more than meet just your basic needs. It's going to ensure that you take your nutritional program to a whole nother level. And, um, you know, don't get shortchanged on a, a multivitamin. I know a lot of people are um, a, a little wishy-washy about the word multivitamin because there's so much crap out there. You know, if you go in your, your typical supermarket, that's, I don't know, selling just the, the generic brand of multivitamin, you're not really getting a multivitamin. You're getting more glues in, um, in case super pressurized um, crap that's held together in that thick pill form where, you know, it's nearly impossible for your body to even uptake any of that. And 10 times out of 10, it's going to come out exactly the way you swallowed it, if you know what I mean. And, um, you know, overall, you just need to take the effort. If this at all, at all, if you want to feel and look, um, have more energy, recover quicker, reduce inflammation, all of those things, improve your lifestyle. It's taking charge over your food sources of what you put in your mouth. And like I said, there's no way around it. You're, you either have to self-educate or you have to hire an expert at the end of the day that's going to hold you accountable. I wanted to keep this short and sweet because I know talking about vitamins and minerals can be a little overwhelming, if not um, a little too scientific to where you almost feel like you're back in the classroom. But like I said, unfortunately, we're not taught properly about real food sources and real nourishment that's going to lead to vitality. And that's a whole other problem that I'll probably talk about in a future podcast. But until then, you can reach out to me on LinkedIn. If you want to link in um, professionally, you can follow me on Instagram, on Twitter, and I have a Facebook business page if you want to get a hold of me. It's very simple. I hope you've got a lot out of this vitamins and minerals um please feel f free to reach out if you want to take your um, vitality or your sports performance to the next level till the next episode thanks and take care of yourself every Friday at 10 a.m. Eastern to Frederick Intamin Post Mind Body Life. 
Connect with Frederick at www.globalvoiceradio.com. Tune in next week for another edition of Mind, Body, Life on Global Voice Radio.